Ladies and gentlemen, get ready because tomorrow is a big day in the world of AI. The highly anticipated GPT-4 is set to make its debut, and it's been announced that it will include multimodal models taking AI to the next level. But what does this mean for the future of AI, and what implications does it have for society? Well, luckily, we've got the inside scoop from deep learning pioneer Joshua Bengio, who recently spoke about the potential of multimodal models and their impact on the development of AI. In this video, we're going to explore Bengio's thoughts on GPT-4, the ethics of AI, and the need for regulation in the field. So get ready to dive deep into the world of AI, and let's take a long-term view of where ChatGPT and other LLMs might take us. This is an exciting time for AI, but we must also be responsible and thoughtful about how we develop and use this powerful new AI model. Let's get started. Today is an exciting day, as we have some breaking news in the world of AI. Just a few days ago, Microsoft Germany CTO Andreas Braun announced that GPT-4 will be made public tomorrow and it will blow our minds with its advanced capabilities. So, what can we expect from GPT-4? Well, for starters, it will be a multimodal language model, which means it will have the ability to process images and videos in addition to text. This is a huge advancement from its predecessor, GPT-3, which was limited to text-based inputs. But that's not all, folks. Unlike any other AI model so far, GPT-4 will also have a long memory, allowing it to retain information and learn from it over an extended period of time. This means it will be able to understand context and nuances better than any AI system before it. Imagine the possibilities with this kind of technology. We could have AI assistants that not only understand what we say, but also what we mean. Or imagine having AI-powered translators that can understand and translate any language in real time with perfect accuracy. And that's not even the most exciting part. GPT-4 will have the ability to generate content that is virtually indistinguishable from human written text. It will be able to write stories, news articles, and even novels that will be difficult to distinguish from content written by humans. Now, you might be wondering how this will impact the world of journalism and content creation. Will it take away jobs from human writers? Will it change the way we consume information? These are all valid questions, and it's up to us to think about the implications of this technology and use it responsibly. But let's not forget about the other capabilities of GPT-4. Its multimodal features mean that it will be able to process and analyze images and videos in ways that were previously impossible for AI systems. It will be able to identify objects, people, and even emotions in visual media. Think about the possibilities for video and image analysis in fields like medicine, surveillance, and entertainment. GPT-4 will be able to analyze medical images and identify potential health risks, or it could be used to enhance security systems by identifying threats and intruders. And let's not forget about the entertainment industry. With GPT-4's advanced video and image capabilities, we could see a new era of immersive and interactive media. Imagine being able to interact with characters in a movie or video game in a way that feels completely natural and human-like. The possibilities with GPT-4 are truly endless. But we must also be mindful of the ethical implications of this technology. As Joshua Bengio mentioned in his recent Q&A, we must be responsible and thoughtful in how we develop and use AI systems. Regulation will be crucial in ensuring that these technologies are developed and used in a way that benefits society as a whole, rather than just a select few. But with careful consideration and responsible development, we could see a future where AI systems like GPT-4 help us solve some of the world's most pressing problems. So there you have it, folks. Tomorrow marks the debut of GPT-4, a truly groundbreaking AI system that will revolutionize the way we interact with technology. From advanced language processing to multimodal capabilities, this is a system that we should all be paying attention to. The development of multimodal language models like GPT-4 has sparked debates among experts about whether or not they could be the path to achieving artificial general intelligence. AGI is the hypothetical intelligence of a machine that has the ability to understand or learn any intellectual task that a human being can. 
With GPT-4's capability of processing not just text, but also images and videos, it's natural to wonder whether this is a step towards AGI. Many experts believe that AGI is still a long way off, and that while multimodal models like GPT-4 are impressive, they are still limited in their capabilities. However, others believe that this type of AI could potentially lead to AGI. One reason why some experts think that multimodal models could lead to AGI is because they are able to process and understand different types of data. This is important because humans don't just communicate through language, but also through images, videos and other forms of media. By being able to understand these different types of data, multimodal models are getting closer to being able to process information in the same way that humans do. Another reason why multimodal models could be a step towards AGI is that they have the ability to learn from a large amount of data. GPT-4, for example, is expected to have a long memory that will allow it to learn from a vast amount of information. This is important because one of the key characteristics of AGI is the ability to learn and adapt to new information. It's important to note, however, that while multimodal models are getting closer to AGI, they still have a long way to go. AGI is not just about processing different types of data, but also about having a deep understanding of the world and being able to reason and make decisions based on that understanding. This requires a level of intelligence that is still beyond the capabilities of current AI systems. Despite this, the development of multimodal models like GPT-4 is still exciting because it brings us one step closer to achieving AGI. While we may not be there yet, the fact that we are developing AI that can understand and process different types of data is a significant achievement. Some experts even argue that GPT-4 itself could be considered AGI. While it may not have the full range of abilities that we associate with AGI, it is capable of learning and processing information in a way that is similar to how humans do. This means that it could potentially be used for a wide range of tasks, from natural language processing to image and video analysis. Of course, whether or not GPT-4 is considered AGI depends on how we define AGI. There is still much debate over what exactly constitutes AGI and whether or not we will ever be able to create a machine that has true general intelligence. Regardless of whether or not GPT-4 is considered AGI, the fact remains that it is an impressive achievement in the field of AI. It has the potential to revolutionize the way we process and understand different types of data and could be used for a wide range of applications in industries from healthcare to finance. At the same time, it's important to be mindful of the potential ethical implications of developing AI that is capable of processing and understanding vast amounts of data. As Joshua Bengio warned, we need to be careful about how we design these machines and ensure that they are being used for the benefit of society as a whole. In conclusion, while the development of multimodal language models like GPT-4 is an exciting step forward in the field of AI, it's still too early to tell whether or not it could lead to AGI. However, the fact that we are developing AI that is capable of processing and understanding, a multimodal large language model, LLM AI, is a type of artificial intelligence system that can understand and process various forms of data, including text, images, and videos. This means that GPT-4 will be able to generate text that is informed by visual and audio inputs, which will make it a more comprehensive and versatile AI tool. The way this works is that GPT-4 will be trained on a dataset that includes a range of multimedia inputs. For example, the model might be trained on a dataset of news articles that includes images and videos that accompany the text. As the model learns from this data, it will start to recognize patterns and connections between different types of data. This will enable it to generate more accurate and nuanced responses to queries that include multimedia inputs. Using GPT-4 will be fairly straightforward as it will likely be integrated into a range of software applications and services. For example, it could be used to generate automated responses to customer inquiries on a company's website or social media pages. In this context, the AI would analyze the customer's query and any accompanying multimedia inputs and generate a response that is tailored to their specific needs. Another way that GPT-4 could be used is in the development of more advanced virtual assistants or chatbots. 
These tools could be trained to understand and respond to a wide range of queries, including those that involve multimedia inputs. This could help to create a more seamless and intuitive user experience, as users would be able to interact with the AI in a more natural way. To use GPT-4, users would typically input their query or request into a software interface, along with any relevant multimedia inputs. The AI would then analyze this data and generate a response that is tailored to the user's needs. This process would be repeated for each subsequent query or request, with the AI continually learning and refining its responses over time. Overall, the introduction of multimodal large language model AI like GPT-4 represents a significant step forward in the development of AI systems that can understand and process a wide range of data inputs. By leveraging the power of machine learning and neural networks, these systems have the potential to revolutionize the way we interact with technology, making it more intuitive and responsive to our needs. While there are certainly some concerns around the ethical and regulatory implications of these systems, there is no doubt that they represent a major technological breakthrough that has the potential to change the world in profound ways. In conclusion, the release of GPT-4 is an exciting development for the field of AI and language processing. With its multimodal capabilities, GPT-4 has the potential to take us one step closer to artificial general intelligence. Its ability to understand and process images and video in addition to text, as well as its long memory, makes it a powerful tool for many different industries. However, it is important to remember that with great power comes great responsibility. As Joshua Bengio pointed out, the potential ethical concerns surrounding the development of powerful AI systems cannot be ignored. It is up to humans to ensure that these machines are designed and used in a responsible and ethical manner. Despite these concerns, the potential benefits of GPT-4 and other multimodal language models are vast. From improving natural language processing to advancing fields such as medicine and robotics, the possibilities are endless. The development of these models is a significant scientific and engineering advance, and it is exciting to see what new breakthroughs and discoveries they will enable in the years to come. As we move forward, it is important to continue having discussions about the implications of these models for society and to work towards developing regulations that protect the public while still encouraging innovation. GPT-4 may be a small step towards artificial general intelligence, but it is a step nonetheless, and one that we should all be excited about. Thank you so much for continuing your support in our quest to deliver the best future science videos on all of YouTube. See you around next time and take care.